Bible for us here. Uh, Sam, I'm Lucas. We're with the alternative side of Paradise Fears. <laughs> How did the band? Oh, <laughs> no. How did the band form? <laughs> We started doing covers together in high school. We're like the kind of, uh, we all listen to the same music, went to the same small town in high school. We were like, we started using this phrase because I think it's awesome. We we're like the Breakfast Club band, like we're all different social groups, and somehow we reunite, we all like, came unite, not reunited, we united <laughs> based on our love of Take Back Sunday and brand new and Spill Canvas and Time Low. And hence, yeah, we made a band. It's the fears. Yeah. If you could tour with anyone that are alive, who would be? Sting. Oh, I say Sting. We just think like the Beatles or YouTube or something like that. It's Bob Marley. Really obvious. The answer for me, Springsteen. Just gonna be cool to watch for him. I love a tour with Parachute though. To a live, like. Might be a great band. Have you had me become a musician? Do you see yourself? I had me become a musician. I'd probably be homeless right now, to be honest. I'd be a junior in college on the debate team. That was my plan B. What's your favorite thing about football? I think music as a medium, like as opposed to any other type of art form, establishes an immediate like connection between artist and listener or viewer. And uh, like rock concerts for me are almost like a spiritual moment. Like it's like even okay. going to them as a kid, I was like. I actually remember my decision, my thought process going into being in a band being like, I was thinking, where am I the happiest in my life when I was going to concerts? So to be a part of what recreates that for other people is like, it's, I mean, it's cool. It's like, it's like, you get a feeling you don't get anywhere else. Have you had any embarrassing moments while on stage? Uh, yeah, I seem to always go on stage with like mad holes in my pants and come off with even bigger holes in my pants. And, like, wearing the pants to the point where by the end of the tour I really just have like jungle like really jungle denim covering my point, yeah. um what the most embarrassing what's the strangest strangest experience you've had with the band strangest experience what One time, um, a fan, a couple of fans and I went to Vegas, and we lost our friend Doug, and we like ended up like stealing Mike <laughs> Tyson's tiger. It was crazy. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. No, I just saw that in the movie. That wasn't that movie. Um, no, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to describe any interaction solely as like, crazy because crazy usually for me is like crazy awesome. Like, so I don't know. Private parties are crazy. Shows are crazy. The yeah, like he's are crazy. Is crazy. So yeah, I don't know if there's like a single. What is the worst joke you've ever heard? Some of those like anti jokes are like really funny because they're terrible jokes. Um, so like, why why did the blind get fired from the M M&M factory? Why? Repeated targeting. Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? He was dead. <laughs> oh no! And now everyone in the audience is thinking dead monkey. That's, dead monkey. that's the visual. You're thinking about a dead monkey right now. They just fell out. You probably think about all the time. You probably had to kill a colorful monkey to make your shoes, didn't you? Oh, Hand yeah. down to see your oh, shoes. Hand yeah. down. <laughs> Can you imagine if you saw a monkey that was that color, like a turquoise monkey? It just had tassels all over itself. That'd be sweet. Yeah. That'd be the coolest monkey ever. Best monkey ever. ever. Yeah. Need it. But I killed it. So. You killed it? Oh, yeah, did. my shoes. Her shoes that is terrible. Yeah. Wow. Like, disappointed. Wow. I'm sorry. It's okay. Impersonating another band member on the tour. Impersonating another band member on the tour. I get a lot of trouble. Nobody's really got, like, a... Okay, this is my... Um, <laughs> okay, oh, God. Well, I need to think about what I'm going to say. Yo, you guys, doing this interview right now. That's right. Yeah, she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm like Anthony Lee. <laughs> Kinda it. Asian, never really looked like him. Definitely don't talk like him. <laughs> Have a fun time in an <laughs> yeah. Always looking like he's doing karate. <laughs> <laughs> what is his deal? Okay. No, he's great though. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't like doing impersonations because a lot of times they come across as like negative, like I'm like making fun of them. It's actually like the part of Adam is his general enthusiasm for them. Remember what inspired you to get into this? What? Remember what inspired you to get into I, uh, my stepdad actually is a music professor, so he often pushed me to keep doing music and like help me out with a lot of things. We talked about music a lot, we were always listening to a lot of music. So that'd be mine. Mine is primarily like just yet, but not working. Taking me to church, making me sing. You recently released a new single, Warrior. What's the inspiration? Um, I think primarily the reasoning for the song was both musically and lyrically. We kind of wanted to clue people in as to who we were as a band. The lyric is very introspective. It talks about our last year as musicians and traveling musicians and trying to uh, trying to find yourself between the person you were growing up. And it's the person that everyone thinks you are. And uh, that's kind of always been a struggle for me and I assume for the rest of the guys as well, is that because what we do is so heavily like scrutinized and observed, people form their own opinions of you and a lot of times it's hard to really find yourself between who you are and the character that you play as a musician. Someone made a movie about your life. Who did you want to play it? Yeah. I mean, me and Zach and Ephraim look really similar, so. <laughs> no, probably Leo. Probably Leo. It's gotta be Leo. <laughs> I'll be so badass. <laughs> or like Denzel Washington. <laughs> Denzel Washington can play a mean yeah. loser. Yeah. That. No, you don't wear enough, <laughs> you don't wear enough uh, baseball caps to be That's Denzel true. Washington. He's always chilling in a baseball cap. I need to start here. <laughs> Empty everything in your pockets and tell us why you're here. Uh, Sharpie? Because I was just a VIP. The letter that a girl gave me. My wallet. For obvious reasons. And my phone for obvious reasons. I suck at this game. Yeah, wow. Well, I found these icebreakers on the ground during <laughs> VIP, so I can ask them. I got some change in the Sharpie. Yeah, yeah, why did either of us have like a turquoise monkey in our pocket? <laughs> like a giraffe, just like. <laughs> there it is. Why do you have that? <laughs> I actually don't even. You know tell me. <laughs> and then I'm out. What can we expect? Got a lot of music to release. So, a lot of touring to do. A lot of shit. A lot of gigging to play. A gigging. Some gigs. But no, yeah, we've got a lot of new stuff coming. Kind of like a new image and a new uh, sound. Thank you. Thank you, Alternative Side. We're Paradise Fears. Yes, we are. <laughs> there's a soul, there's a pulse, there's a warrior.